are you art lovers out there? Today we're going to check out how I would do a simple tree. Now I'm doing it in the way we used to do it as far as animation style, but you can utilize it in your personal painting approach as well. So follow along, let's see what happens, and hopefully you'll like it. As we've seen in past videos or blogs, I wet my board first and then I lay in the paint. That way the paint goes down nice and smooth and even. I tend to badger it a little bit to smooth it out so you don't see the lines so much. And then I begin to put in my back foliage. I think of when I'm painting a tree, think of it in one, two, three steps. A dark value, a middle value, and a light value. So I'm putting my foliage in at a the darker value. Then I begin to paint my tree trunk limbs or branches into that. And I do it in a wet on wet fashion. That way I can blend my colors as I'm laying it in. I start with my darker shady areas and then of course move towards the lighter areas while it's still wet putting in the values to form the tree. Now we're not gonna deal with grass or ground. I've dealt with that in two of the other videos. So here we're gonna focus strictly on the tree. Once I have that basic information, then I start to pull out some of the detailed shapes of the tree. I'll put some darker darks into the tree trunk to give the basic overall shape. I'll put in some more areas of light in the shadow areas that I need. Then you see me now starting to put the middle tone of foliage into the tree over top of my branches. And as I've done that, I come back Give some line detail. It's a little hard to see at this angle, but you'll have to see it in the close up. The lines sort of give, give you that bark texture. And this is to simulate when you put in the light areas to simulate some of the bark texture as well. It's a simplistic approach, but you can make it as detailed, put as much bark in as you want, or as little as you want. Then I come back and Put little reflective lights into the tree branch or the trunk of the tree and then I give my final highlights into the leaves and now I'm giving final details into the areas of the tree trunk and you can see a little bit better as this close up. I'm going in to fill in a few more little spots, small twigs or small branches that may be sticking out of the foliage to give a little more dimensionality. Now painting this way was a little hard so I came back and softened up some of the areas by using the airbrush and the badger brush. And here's what it looks like when I'm in the completion of the process. You can see the reflective lights and some of the darker lines to form the bark shape a little bit better in this shot. So that's my quick method of doing a tree. Next time I'll do close-up on tree bark and you can get a better concept of how that works. So did you find that useful? Again, go back and check out some of the old videos we did and you'll see that there's a similarity in the approach. And try it, and let me know what you think. And I'll see you next video, next time.